The Windows registry contains a lot of information about your operating system. It has data related to profiles, apps, documents, hardware and more. By editing the registry, you can customize the look and feel and also make Windows easier to use. So in this video, I will be showing you my top 4 favorite registry hacks to customize Windows and make it more productive. So here's how. So the first hack will give you a shortcut to any application in your desktop right click menu. This means if you right click on your desktop in the empty area, you get a certain set of options. Here you can add your own custom option to open any application. To do that, first let's open registry editor. So in the search type in reg edit and click run, run as administrator. Hit yes. And once registry editor opens, just go to the very top and minimize this until you see something like this. Then head over into the description and copy this value right here. This is the path. Go ahead and copy the path for the right click menu and come back here and paste it and hit enter. Now you'll see it opens the directory background and shell folder. Just right click on shell, new and key. So create a new key, name it whatever you want. I'll name it MS Edge. The name you keep here will appear when you right click. So if we right click now, you'll see MS Edge is here. But that's not, that's not the point. Right now what you'll do, you'll get an error. So first we have to do a few more steps. Right click on MS Edge and create a new key. Name that key command. Remember, command should be in lowercase, don't make it in cap. The formatting has to be the same for command. Now, double click this default value right over here under MS Edge and command, and it's going to ask you for value data. Here, you have to enter the path for the file. Now, in the description, along with the path for the registry editor, I've also provided the path for some of the applications which are very common. I've provided for Microsoft Edge and for Google Chrome. If you want the path for any other application, just comment it down below and I'll try my best and share it to you as soon as I can. So go ahead and copy this. Don't keep any space or anything. Copy it as it is. Then right click copy and minimize notepad and I'll paste it in the value data field. Hit OK and you'll see it appear in the data. Then right click and now you can click on Microsoft Edge and it's going to open it. The next hack will make your PC look really cool. So if you ever wanted to get the Mac OS look on your Windows PC, you would have changed the desktop background along with the taskbar. But a better way to do it along with that is changing the default folder icons. As you know, in Mac OS, they have blue color icons and we can do that in Windows too. To do that, just open the registry editor once again. And in the description, there's going to be a path for the change folder icon. Go ahead and copy that path. Open registry editor and paste it in the top bar like I'm doing and hit enter. It's going to open the explorer folder. So all you have to do is right click on explorer and create a new key. Name the key shell icons. Again, for this key, you have to maintain the formatting just like I did. After that, left click in this empty area over here, then right click and create two new string values. Name them three and four. After doing that, you will have to download an icon. So you can choose whichever icon you want. In the description, I've provided the icon link. It will take you to my Google Drive. Just go ahead and download it from there and then save it wherever you want. I have already downloaded it. So what I'll do is an open file explorer, head over into the downloads and here it is. What I'll do is I'll go ahead, click on it and click copy path. Once that's done, I can close this and double click on three in the value data, just hit paste. Do the same thing with four in the value data, hit paste. Then hit okay. Now what you can do is minimize registry editor and you can either right click on the taskbar and open task manager or on your keyboard, just press control, shift and escape together, which is a shortcut for opening task manager. Here, just scroll down or wherever it is, find the Windows Explorer. After you find it, click on it and hit restart. So once all of that is done, it's not exactly a restart. It's a simpler method instead of restarting because that takes more time. You can close task manager now. And after that, if you open file explorer, you will notice that the icons have changed to whichever one you have chosen. Even in the download, they're now blue. Like that, you can choose whichever icon you want. 
the hack I'm going to show you now is going to save you a lot of time. And to be precise, it's going to save you seconds. So what actually happens is when you unlock your PC, to unlock it, first you have to turn it on. And after that, press any key, mainly the space key on your keyboard to finally be able to enter the password. Until then, it just shows you the lock screen picture. But that takes up a lot of time. So instead, just head over to the registry editor and in notepad, Head over to the skip lock screen section and copy this path right over here. Hit copy, go back and paste it right over here in the top bar and hit enter. Now it's going to take you to the windows folder under Microsoft. Just right click on it and create a new key. Name that key personalization like so. I forgot the A. Like that. Now here keep the spelling and all just as I have done. And once you're done with that, click into this empty space, right click and create a new D word 32 bit value, not Q word, a D word 32 bit value. Once you're done with that, just name it no lock screen. In this, the first letters of each word should be capitalized. After doing that, just double click on it and set the value data to one and hexadecimal. Remember one and hexadecimal and hit OK. Now, anytime later, if you want to get the lock screen image once again, like you want to disable this feature, double click and set the value data to zero. But since I want it, I'll enable it to one and that to remember hexadecimal. After that, all you have to do is do the exact same thing with it last time. Open task manager. And in task manager, find file explorer, windows explorer. Once you find it, either click restart here or right click and hit restart. Once you're done with that, you can close task manager once again. And now next time you turn your PC on from hibernate or shutdown or whatever it is, it will redirect you to the place where you can enter your password. The last hack I'm going to tell you is related to the previous hack. So as I said before, for to skip the lock screen, you can check whatever I told you. And remember, I said that it saves seconds. This time, let's see exactly how many seconds it saves. Because in the task bar, other than the hour and minute, we will be adding the seconds. So right now it's 631. I can make it say the exact seconds like 631.54, something like that. To do that, open registry editor. And in the description, just copy the path for add seconds to clock. So right click copy. Go back into registry editor and paste it in the top bar, then hit enter. It will open the advanced part over here. All you have to do is right click on advanced and create a new D word 32 bit value. Once you're done with that, name it the exact same thing I do. It's show seconds in system. That's not the spelling of system system clock. Remember, first letters should always be capitalized. Once you're done with that, you can double click and set the value data to one and hexadecimal. Hit OK. Again, this is the same thing. If you want to disable the seconds, just change the value to zero. And but since I want it, I'll keep it as one a hexadecimal. Now, since this was the last trick, you can finally close registry editor, open task manager once again and find the Windows Explorer process. Right over here, click on it and hit restart. Now you can go ahead and close Task Manager. And now if you go ahead and look at your task bar, you will see that it shows the exact seconds with it. So it's a 632.49, great. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn how to make your Windows 10 PC look like Windows 11, check out the video on your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video.